So we're back a few days later with our single spore isolation candidates. So what we have here was a solution smeared on a nutrient broth, solution smeared on agar water, water agar, solution micropipetted into where these dots are specifically. Uh, one tenth of a microliter poured dot and then same thing with this water agar also we have our microplates and you can see growth in some sections on these um, trying to find a spot so it's kind of hard to see very hard to see but there is some uh, growth in section 10 and 12 um, 5 on both of them even 8 I think 5 has some growth <clears throat> but it's not really important um, kind of shows that there is some germination for sure. We have the control plates. Remember these were expired by a few years, seven years even, eight years, something like that. But all the control plates, every cell in two of them is uh, completely clean. I can't see any growth by any means on any of them yet. It has only been a few days though. Basically what we're going to do at this point is get in here on the microscope and kind of observe these guys, see anything that looks like it has potential to be a monokaryote, then we can transfer that to its own dish and keep a closer eye on it. Um, I'm probably going to have to take off a lot of these lids to get a good look under the microscope, so it is going to have to be done in sterile conditions. Um, I was looking at some of the growth just in the microscope or in the petri dishes without removing the lids and it's much more difficult but you can see some. But we're going to go ahead and take a closer look. <laughs> 